Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you a video in the AMX 1375. I'm on Thiepval Ridge 1944, I'm in a platoon with Spandex and Luke. Uh, Luke is in his Dreadnought, Spandex in his 1357, the premium French light tank, or one of them, a tier 7, and we're in a tier 9 game. Now, on the one hand I don't like this map, on the other hand it's a good map for light tanks. So, I should try and take advantage of it. Now, I think it's this game, I just want to point out, I'm not actually aware that it's even a team destruction at this point. I'd open the map just there, that's when I noticed where the enemy spawn is. So I've decided, with that, I'm going to go to the hill, because if I can work my way to the hill, at the far side and round, I'm expecting their artillery to move away from their spawn, away from our side. So if I go onto the hill, I might be able to spot their artillery. That's my thinking. Now, at the same time, I'm a bottom tier light tank, I don't have many hit points, and a lot of their tanks do a lot of damage. Um, I always say I don't like light tanks, or at least I say I'm not very good in them, I do have fun drawing around them. I recently checked my stats in this, uh, tier 7 light tank, and it turns out that I'm actually not just enjoying myself, but I actually am playing well. So, I was quite surprised, and I'm doing quite good. So I go to spot the hill, um, the Kanoni Yagpanjas are there. Which I was a little bit surprised by at first, but then I realised there's basically like a tier 8 uh, E25. It's a very fast TD. Um, he is platooned with the enemy vanguard, so I was expecting the vanguard to be here. But as I go up to try and spot this dude again, I'm not going to see him. And I'm fucking going to see an IS. So, I saw all those tanks before when I spotted the Kanoni Yagpan. Including a lot of tier 9s and a lot of heavies. And... I said, at the time, to Spandex, I should run, but at the same time, people are getting shots in, and I'm going to go for another spotting run. This is quite risky, this. Now, I want to remember something. Remember the fact that I knew I should have left about 20 seconds ago, if not a bit longer. As I come up, I realise that the tanks cross the map might get shot at me, so I go to run away, and I keep an eye on the minimap. Here they all are. I'm going to try and run, but the IS, I believe it is, um, is actually going to track me. So I try to repair, I then get tracked again, and this is where I should die. Look at all the enemies over there. Um, my tracks repair, I start moving, I have to go back. I can't run away because they'll all have shot at me. I'm going to put the rest of my clip into the Kanonian Yagpanzer. I get the fire as well, and that's one kill. And I'm trying to figure out where I should go. There's a T-30 over there who can one-shot me. So I'm going to try and run. I'm going to weave left and right to try and avoid the IS. So I'm actually about to get out of that situation alive. I'm actually over half my hit points, which is quite amazing. I thought I was dead, and I should have been dead. All because I didn't run when I knew I should have. Now, at the same time, high risk, high reward, but... Had I died early there, that would have been a bit of a shame. So I know where lots of their team are, so I thought, fuck it, I'm going to come down this way. Um, there's going to be less opponents over here. And the Vanguard, who I thought would be with the Canonian Jagdpanzer, was actually spotting the other side of the map. So, um, I meant I didn't have to deal with them, which was nice. T-43 was a one-shot for me, and now I see the artillery. So, um, obviously... I'm a, I'm a big fan of killing artillery, so I'm going to go in, I've got three shots, hit the first, hit the second, and then I do unfortunately with my handbrake turn fuck up the third one, but it's all good. I'm going to start moving back, I see the vanguard, and I've cut out the spandex, so me and spandex are going to go for the, uh, going to go for the vanguard now. We've only lost two tanks at the moment as well, so... We're doing quite well at the moment, and like, I've just been driving around and almost dying, so I haven't been playing the most sensible roll of tanks you've ever seen, but it's working. Now, I don't mind going in against the ELC-90, because I know Spandex is right behind me, as you can see in the mini-map, so I'm just going to go in. Put two shots into the Vanguard. I don't actually have enough to two-shot the artillery, but Spandex gets a shot in, which allows me to pick up the kill. So that's about the four kills already. Not the craziest amount of damage, but still. And something else I want to note is, I've started loading premium rounds here, because there's a 705 uh, tier 9 heavy tank who I'm going for next. This light tank doesn't carry a lot of ammo, and I like to take a lot of blind shots and kind of risky shots, and I've almost run out of ammo a lot of times. 
Um, I don't know about the tier 8 light tank or the tier 9 medium tank. I know the tier 10 bad shot runs out of ammo quite often. So um, that's something to get used to. That perhaps blind shots and the uh, riskier shots might not be worth doing in a lot of situations. Um, in case I run out of ammo. First shot hits the spaced armor on the side. I only got one shot in but it is the killer shot on the two tier higher tanks. That's nice for XP. Start reloading the APCR clip because now there's a full health ST1, another tier 9 Soviet heavy tank, whose um, side armor is ridiculously thick, I think 140, maybe even a bit more. I do must pick up the kill on the Carnarvon, but now the ST1 is going to look at me, so I just duck down and again I go for the reload. Now the whole team's closing in, artillery shooting at him. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to get another shot in. But, you know, I wouldn't complain at this point. It was a very good game for me in particular. On a map I don't like in a bottom tier game. So to come to the end result here, you'll see that my risky play, although it's going to be the best result ever, as I already stated, for a tier 9 game, pretty decent. 78,000 silver. Um... 1500 XP, because this was my first game in the tank that day. 6 kills, 1900 damage, and 2500 assistance. And a scout medal, which is something I very rarely get. So a game I'm very pleased with. Um, I'll have another AMX 1375 game for you tomorrow, which I have played like 2 games after this one. Or something silly like that. So, been playing really well in this tank. I actually might keep this tank. Um, so expect to see more gameplay. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.